Good day everyone. I am pleased to present my research paper, a study on the relationship between motivation and language learning achievement of grade 4 learners of Mayo Castillo Elementary School. I am July Anguera. Last school year 2019-2020, Mayo Castillo Elementary School achieved an average mean percentage score of 69.60 in English 4. The MPS is 5.4% deviated from the national planning standard of 75% stipulated by the Department of Education. In this case, the learner's achievement in learning a language falls short to what is expected from the students as the learners of the language, teachers as the partners of the students in the pursuit of the students' language learning, and the institution as the educational partners. Motivation is considered to be one of the most influential factors in language learning. In fact, Gardner and Lambert during 1959 stated that motivation is the most compelling factor when a language learner or user is tasked to learn a second language. Also, Dornier and Sizer 1998 mentioned that language learning success is very relevant to subjects reported motivational strategies. However, scrutinizing the major language learning motivation with teenage language learners, Leslie believed that it is still worth studying the extent on how motivation brings effective outcomes to the task of learning a language. Thus, motivation is deemed to be a great factor in language learning. In investigating motivation and its relationship to the other factors influencing language learning, Kisa asserted that learning a language is completely societal and gender-driven. Not only did investigations in language learning have involved the, the typical respondents, some research included different populations where motivation varies. For an instance, Vaisi during 2008 has found out that Iranian learners of English are instrumentally motivated for this will be their primary tool to being more capable in globalized community. Another, Sizer, Kormos, and Sarkadi during 2010 found that dyslexic learners do not consider language significant duty for them. Concurrently, Sizer et al. 2010 posited that the more second language is similar to the native language of the learners, the more they are capable of mastering the second language. With that, this investigation deals with the motivation of students in learning a second language. In so doing, it seeks to answer the following questions. How motivated are the respondents in learning English as a language? What is the reported skill of the students' respondents in the grammatical aspects of English? And what is or are the relationships of students' reported motivation and their grammatical knowledge? The present study is quantitative in nature as it deals with the relationship of motivation and the skills of the respondents in particular grammatical items. Aside from having quantitative analysis, the study is also qualitative. It makes use to materials in investigating language learning success among the participants. First, an 18-item questionnaire was used. The second instrument is a grammatical judgment test. The participants are the 30 grade 4 learners of Mayo Castillo Elementary School 2019-2020. The mean score for the questionnaire on motivation was identified. Further, overall score for the GJT was also determined. A statistical analysis of the reported motivation and results of GJT is applied. Pearson correlation is used to determine whether there is a significant relationship between the learner's motivation and their scores in the GJT. The qualitative interpretation of the data was provided in analyzing the participants' motivation and their current knowledge on specific grammatical items. The first table shows the number of the respondents who reported their motivational level in learning English. As can be seen from the table, most of the student respondents are motivated in learning English. Half of the participants reported that they are on the average level of studying English. It can be implied from this result that as ESL learners of English, Filipinos are still inclined to be fluent or proficient in learning and using their L2. Despite this reported result, it cannot be concluded that the respondents are intrinsically or extrinsically motivated to learn English as the present investigation does not deal with the type of motivation that drives the Filipino ESL learners in studying and using English. With the two-tailed value of more than P equals 0.05, this result implies that the reported motivation level and the results of the participants' GGTs are not significantly correlated. It can be further argued that the motivational level of the students may not be an effective representative of the linguistic knowledge that they acquire. The result also shows that not all students who reported to have high motivation may do well in judging the grammaticality of the sentences in a grammar-focused exam.
The figure shows the graphical representation of the relationship between language learning motivation and the obtained score of the respondents in the GJT. As evidently shown, it was found that the motivation of the respondents in studying a language is not relatively inclined to their success of learning a language. Moreover, the scattered dots imply the insignificant notion that motivation is the sole predictor of language learning achievement. The present study has found that elementary students may have high motivation in learning English. However, their performance in a grammatical judgment test tells otherwise. This study has also determined that success in language learning cannot be solely predicted by motivation. Parallel to the conclusive remarks of Bernard 2010, this study st emphasized that achievement in learning, acquiring, and using language is dictated by several factors aside from motivation. Future researchers may have more respondents or larger population to draw a more generalized conclusion as regards the relationship of motivation and language learning. Furthermore, other linguistic factors may also be considered when doing the same study. Few of these components include the language spoken and subsequently acquired by the students or respondents, the age, and the type of schools where the learner studies a particular language, among others. In view of the dissemination and advocacy plans, the researcher intends to showcase the implications of the current study, which could be of great help to the wider community. Thank you.